Hi guys, it's Paige at Cumber Books, and I'm here to do a book haul. Um, I know I said in my update video that I was going to do haul books that I've had for a while since I haven't filmed in a while, and I will, I will, but I got a package in the mail full of books that I wanted to share with you, so I figured, why not? It's my first video back other than that update video, and I just got a huge package in the mail. Why not share it with you guys? So, this is what it looks like. It's huge. It was so funny because my mom, I wasn't expecting anything. And my mom was like, oh, UPS just left. And I was like, what? I'm like, well, they, were they in the driveway? And she's like, no, they parked across the street. And I was like, well, did they dro drop something off? And she was like, I don't know. And, like, I ran to the door and was like, yeah, they did. And I, like, booked it to the door and grabbed this. And when I, I was, like, not expecting it to be so heavy. So I, like, tried to pick it up, like, really fast. And I, like, fell over. I didn't really fall over. But I, like, tripped because I was like, oh, my God, this is so heavy. Turns out there's, like, six books in here, five books in here. So, yeah, I've already opened it. I know what's inside. But it's still in the package, and it's still pretty much sealed, so almost like it's an unboxing. But anyways, this is from Candlewick Press. Um, not too long ago, I requested two books from them, and they sent them to me right away. I was really excited about that. And I read them, reviewed them, loved them, and then they just sent me their fall review selection list. And I was like, I'll just pick a couple so that if they only send me one, I have backups in case they don't have the one that I want. They sent me every one that I asked for, and I was like, I love you guys. So, let's get into the books. Um, all of these are, I'm excited about, I really am. I don't know how long it's going to take me to read all of these, but a lot of them, they're, they're ARCs. So, some of them are published until, like, next April, stuff like that. So, the first one that I pulled out is Dan vs. Nature by Dawn Calamy, which looks like this, and I think this is about two best friends who decide they want to go <sighs> survive on a camping trip in the woods, and I guess it's supposed to be really funny and hilarious, so that, I, I read all the backs of these and I wanted all the backs, but I cannot remember exactly what each of them are about, so if I pause for a few minutes, it's because I'm reading the back trying to get a gist of what it is so I can tell you. Anyways, this is what this is. I showed my mom because I opened this right next to my mom. And she was like, ew, bugs. And I was like, oh my god, mom, they're not real. And she's like, I know, but ew. So yeah, that's what this one. And this comes out, it's April of next year. Where should I pile the books? Right next to me, I guess is good. The next one is The Mark of Cain by Lindsay Bearclaw. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this one. But I decided at the last minute that it looked really good. And it sounded good as well, so I decided that's the cover, The Mark of Cain. And this is about, I think it's about witches. Mm, it's based in, like, 1962. It's, the, it's a story that's based in 1962, but the story that it's talking about is based in 1567. So it's going to be... It's obviously it's not coming out until actually this is this is a weird one because it says it came out August of 2015, but it's an arc, so I'm guessing that they either screw that up or or they're just giving me an old arc. But now that I look at this on the back, it says the publication is May of 2016, so I have a while to read this. So this looks good, and I'll leave all the books links down below so you can go and see what the actual description is because I suck at giving descriptions, so you know that. The next one is a short one. It's called Lottery Boy by Michael Byrne. That's what it looks like. Um, it's just about a kid that lost his mom. And he's been living on the streets with his dog. And he comes into some sort of good fortune, I think. From a like a birthday card that is, somebody left him. And then a bunch of stuff happens. And it sounds really good. It sounded really good when I got it. When I saw it, actually. Um, this comes out in March of 2016. So that's exciting. The next one is Read Me Like a Book by Liz Kessler. I think, I don't know if I've read anything by her, but I know that I've seen something by her that I wanted to read. Um, it's just about, a, it's a book about a girl who's in love. Mm, da, la, la, la. With someone that's not her boyfriend. That's going to be interesting. Um, and this comes out in June of 2016, so I have a while to read that. And this is a pretty short one, too. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then last but not least is called Red Ink by Julie Mayhew. He, Mayhew? Mayhew? I don't know. 
So that, I like this cover. It's just simple. And this says, when her mother is knocked down and killed by a London bus, 15-year-old Melon Foraki is left with no family worth mentioning. Uh, na, 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 so I think then she has to go live with her aunt, and then she learns a bunch of interesting things about her family, and yeah. So it sounds pretty good. This comes out in February. Yeah, February of next year, so I'll probably be reading this one first. I think this one comes out first. But yeah, so those are all one, two, three, four, five books that I received. There was a list of, I think, like ten, maybe a little more, less, and I wanted all of them, every one of them, but I was like, no, I'm not going to ask for every one of them because that's just selfish and picky, but they sent me like literally every one that I wanted, and I was really, really excited about it. So yeah, that is everything that I received in the mail the day before yesterday. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have heard of any of these, if you've read any of them, or if you have ARCs and you want to do a buddy read, something like that, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!